Alright, so the first thing that we're going to learn is shield stops. And to understand what a shield stop is, you first need to understand the difference between a run and a dash. So, for instance, a dash can be defined by the range that you move within your dash dance. So, I can change my direction completely within my dash dance range, and that's fine. But a run is holding forward outside of my dash range. So when I try to change directions outside of the dash range, I kind of have to stop and turn around and it looks really janky and it's not fluid and it's just not good at all. Whereas the dash dance, I can change my direction completely. So what a shield stop aims to do is it aims to uh, stop any forward momentum that you have when you're moving forward because within your dash and your run if you jump while you're moving forward your character kind of floats forward uh, and can sometimes float into unsafe ranges especially against floaties like Peach or Jigglypuff so the shield stop cuts the forward momentum after the jump and the way that you do shield stop bump it up, is you simply hit shield within your dash dance range. So once again, this is the dash dance range. This is me hitting shield in the dash dance range. Notice that, oops, notice that as I stop with shield in the dash dance range, Marth, um, Marth stands still. <coughs> if I were to leave the dash dance range and hit shield, my character would slide forward, and that's how you can tell if you're leaving your dash range. So, uh, so once again, this is me shielding within the dash range, and then this is going to be me shielding outside of the dash range. And watch, I'll, I'll slide forward. So, right there. Show the differences again. So this is dash, this is run. See, I slid so far that I even went off the stage. <coughs> so, let me let me catch up with chat before I proceed. Okay, cool. So, now that we know that, a shield stop, you know, moving forward and shielding isn't really the best always, but when you shield, you know, you can jump out of the shield, and when you jump, you can perform aerials. So that means, theoretically, you could move forward on someone and cut all of your forward momentum and jump neutral and space an attack. Now, while that doesn't sound super amazing, when you need to make small, like, incremental spaces, just like this, you know, moving forward with the Nair, yes! jumping forward is not the best idea because it's, it's a hard commit and you can't, you can't accurately fade either way. By the way, I missed a subscriber. Who was it? <coughs> Subhype? Oh, Drogo. Drogo Subhype. Thank you for subscribing, man. But, um, uh, if you need the donate link, just type sla uh, exclamation mark donate. Okay. So, as I was saying, when you jump neutral, you can choose to either jump forward jump straight or jump backwards whereas if you're moving forward you you commit to a, a forward jump and that's never good so shield stops increase your mobility like by five times within the dash range and people always ask me how my mobility is is so much better than a lot of marths and I noticed that a lot of them don't utilize yes! this uh, the shield stop okay let's see who's subscribed Lego Tech, thank you for subscribing, man. That's 55 subscribers. Awesome. Lego Tech sounds like two combinations of things that I hate stepping on, especially as a kid. I think everyone remembers the excruciating pain of stepping on Lego Tacks as a kid. I mean, not Lego Tacks, Lego pieces that were lying on the floor because you're an irresponsible kid. <coughs> so yeah, that's that is the advantage of a shield drop, shield stop, excuse me. And some applications of it that I have written down in the Google document are uh, Nair in place, which is probably like my second most used. So you can 
run forward, shield to stop, jump neutral, and neutral air. Because uh, a neutral air forward kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Even though it feels the best, it kind of sucks. Um, okay, the one that I do use the most. Oh, we have a donator. Be the beginning for $10. Thank you for uh, donating, Be the Beginning. Um, I believe... I believe you're at a total of... A thousand two hundred and sixty dollars donated on the stream. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, the one that I use the most is is a uh, shield stop fade back forward air because forward air comes out the quickest and the hitbox begins like a uh, like up here, which stops most jumps jump ins since they're gonna be coming from above you. So that one's the best. You know, dash forward, dash backwards. Um, I also wrote down under platform up air, so I'll, I'll get it out of final destination. This is mostly good after, like, an up throw setup, but, uh, if I, if someone's under the platform, sometimes jumping forward and doing an up air like that is just too janky and won't lead to, like, an up tilt to cover multiple options, so sometimes you want to get under them first and then shield stop up air, so then you can set up for your up tilt combos. The last one among the um, the shield stops would be, oh yeah, the the fake pivot, false pivot, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a pivot like is actually, um, oh that was a hundred bucks. Oh man, I feel bad. Oh, I said that was ten bucks. <laughs> okay, yeah, be the beginning. Thank you, thank you ten times more, man. But the uh, the thought, the thought, man, is what really counts. Senor be the beginning. I I mean I, I realize that at this point money is like not really an object to you since you're obviously balling out and donating on my stream all the time. So I appreciate that you continue uh, donating because it shows that you enjoy the stream, so thank you man. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. So so the false pivot. Uh, pivots are really only like, uh, you get one frame to do an attack. Oops. Yeah, like that. Oh my god, I can't do them. It's not, it's not Apex. It's not Apex, boys. Okay, there you go. But a false pivot with shield stops mimics, like, the same thing as, uh, a pivot in that, uh, to do, like, a pivot aerial, you would, the, the point of doing it is so that you can stand or be, uh, jumping neutral. And that's exactly what a shield stop will give you. So you can, um, Dash one way, turn around, shield, to so that you run backwards and turn around so that you can space for a forward air, fade back forward air, just like that. So if you think that a falcon is gonna, you know, knee in on you, and you're you're so close and you're totally gonna eat the knee in the face, you could totally just do that. You know, move back half a step and slice him in the face. But yeah, you know, that's that's shield stops. And shield stops is actually what uh, I feel that most Marths are missing among all four of these in the list. Uh, Snowy Bro, thank you for donating a dollar. Thank you very much, man. If you have a message attached to this, let me know. And I'll read my Twitch alerts. In fact, I'll check it now. 